Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Let's create a man stack project and learn a lot of topics together. If you don't know what is man stack, I just released a fast overview of man. You can find its link in video description. Make sure to check that video. So, what is the plan? We are going to create a basic bookstore project. We use man stack, so we will have MongoDB, Express.js, React, and .js. Just some little tips before I start. You must know JavaScript and basic React for this tutorial. I try to explain everything as simple as possible. But if you don't have experience with JavaScript development and basic React, I think this tutorial may be a little hard for you. All codes are available on my GitHub. You can find the link on video description. This is a main tutorial and my focus would be primarily on this stack. So I don't pay attention to other technologies that can be irrelevant for you in this level like Redux, React Query, React Hook for JWT and others. If you're interested in each one, let me know and we will have it in another tutorial. What do you need for this tutorial? First, you need to have Node.js installed on your computer. Then you need a code editor and a browser. I use VS Code and Chrome, but you can use anything you want. Now, let's go and start coding. First, create a new folder with name of bookstore man stack. Then open it in VS Code. Here, create two separate folders for backend and frontend projects. Also, I created .gitignore file and also a readme.md file for the GitHub repo. You can ignore this. No, let's initialize our project. Make sure that you are on the backend folder, else type cd backend to go to backend folder. Then type npm init-y and press enter. This command will add a package.json to our project. And inside of this package.json file, let's add a new line with the type of module. This line will allow us to use ECMAScript syntax, which is import keyword and export keyword. Also, let's add two packages to our project, Express.js and Nodemon. So, let's type npm i express Nodemon. We use Express as our framework and also we use Nodemon for restarting server automatically on chains. Now, let's add two scripts to a script section. A start will run the project with Node.js environment and dev will run the project with Nodemon and we use this command in development. No, let's create a new file with name of index.js. This file will be the starter of our project. We need Express.js framework, so let's add it here. Then define a new variable for it. Then let's make it listen to a port. It is better solution to separate your codes to different files and folders. So for the port, I want to create another file with name of config.js and I will define my port in this file. A better way to saving this port variable is .env file, but I don't want to add it to this project, so let's use this config.js for this tutorial. Then you need to import this port in index.js file and use it. We need a function for listening to this port. Let's create app.listen function and use our port in it. After port, we can pass a callback function to app.listen. And let's have a simple console.log with a message to be sure that everything is okay. No, let's run our project using VS Code Terminal. Type npm run dev. This command will start the server on our selected port. No, in console, if we see this message, it means that our server is running and we don't have any problem. 